missing. That's the thing. One page is missing, and you're really messed up in the comments. Maybe this is yours? Yeah, one page. Page three is missing. Yeah. favorite bits but only the second time because the first time you just play this and you ruin it and then the second time you're allowed to play from Buckner's seventh first movement and as most of the home players know the first one is only this going up like the daily exercises you do and then but the second time you are allowed to play the melody with the cellos and that's a lot of fun. <laughs> movement of the fourth Bruckner and I like this because it's a nice melody played together with the violas and also it's nice because it means the symphony is almost finished so this is one of the worst bits to play as a fourth horn player in Bruckner symphonies it's out of the fourth symphony the slow movement all the others play before you. First horn plays bum ba ba, second horn bum ba ba, third horn bum ba ba, and you're left all by yourself to go bum ba ba. This is a bit no fourth horn players like, I don't think. But uh, usually I play Wagner tuba here in the orchestra, and that's much more fun. I've been playing Bruckner ninth ever since I joined this orchestra. In fact, it was practically my first concert ever with Herbert von Karajan. And this section has never got easier. It's in the seventh horn, and it's very close to the beginning, so you're never really warmed up, and it's right across my break. You have to get the accent on the first note, not on the second one, but it always sounds louder on the lower note. And it's never in tune with anybody. That's my, fit, my worst bit, that's the one I hate most. Same piece, just shortly afterwards, the same horn, seventh horn, <clears throat> gets a lovely solo. After the old one, it sounds like this. That may sound much more complicated, much more difficult, but I find it easier than the first one. Go figure. 
This is uh, probably the shortest third horn passage in literature. Uh, it is uh, by Anton Bruckner. It uh, occurs in the finale of his seventh symphony in E major. The finale is uh, overtitled Bewegt doch nicht zu schnell. Uh, and this passage is extremely depressing and it stands for the destiny of a third horn player. Bruckner playing is so difficult, I find. The notes are easy for third horn, but the atmosphere is always so heavy and serious and sad. <laughs> I'm the new guy, so I just have to play everything. Fertig.